Lin Dan. His second seed right at the foot of the draw here in Changzhou. And this, a real indulgence. There's Lin Dan. So defending champion ousted in round one Wang Zhenming. Didn't manage to defend his sole title. Kidambi. Shrikanth as well, the third seed, lost in round one, as did Son Wan Ho, the fifth seed from South Korea after retiring. HS Pranoy was the sole surviving Indian in the men's singles until the quarterfinals, and then uh, yesterday, Chen Long dispatched of him. But Lin Dan, the most decorated and successful player ever in the history of badminton. Born in the Fijian province. 32 years old now, ranked third, of course. Well, what a competitor he is. He's up against a very young man, just 19 years old, Lin Guipu. Ranked 108th, career high of 91 in the world, back on the 7th of April, earlier this month. Very fast riser, though, this one. The man in yellow broke the top 100 in January of this year. Good uh, performances so far this year. New Zealand Open, round of 16, lost to Huang Yuxiang, the 13th seed. Thai Masters lost in the first round, Son. Wan Ho, second seed there. He won the Chinese International Challenge event, the young man, and uh, Indonesian Masters he lost in the round of 16 to Tommy Sugiarto, did Guipu, and the Macau Open, also the round of 16. But in July of last year, he won the Asian Junior Championships. And that really is quite something for this man. That's his outstanding result. Lindan, well, doesn't need any introduction. 20 Super Series title amongst his 62 career titles in all. And arguably the greatest player of his generation. An international icon. So it's going to be Mr. Guipu to get us underway. find him absolutely spellbinding to watch the lefty. Lindan. Yesterday, Lin had a win over Guangzhou Lu. Also of China, another exciting 19-year-old player. Now, get this, world ranked 688th in the world was Guangzhou Lu. And he took a game, the middle game off of Lin Dan, 17-21. Lin Dan came through in just under an hour, 51 minutes. But, I mean, how does that happen? China with so many good young prospects. Their system is, frankly, miraculous to other training camps. They seem light years ahead in their development. 688th in the world took a game from Lin Dan at only 19 years old as well. Lin Dan's 32, a man of vast experience. Highly decorated and bejeweled titles hanging off everywhere. <laughs> and this young man. 
came out, took a game. I find it quite amazing. And it's not like uh, Lindan really lapsed in concentration. Up against another 19-year-old today. And this man, a really free-swinging talent as well. Who beat Kazumasi Sakai in the round prior. 21-10, 21-18. In fairly comfortable fashion. 26-year-old was ousted. Look at the deception there. And the little lift down the line forehand from Lindan. Wonderful to watch. He's so respectful of his opponents as well when he plays. And a man of style. It's a joy to watch him, isn't it? There's a, something languid and a majestic lethargy about the way he plays. Five World Championship titles, four Asian Games. Asian Championship titles, twice Olympic champion, 2008, 2012, 62 career titles. Changing racket, taking his time, keeping us waiting. He's got a, a presence about him, the lefty, hasn't he? He likes to keep, uh, so sort of draws the energy to him like a magnet. Everybody's watching him and he knows it. Well, he's had a good year, 2016 has been kind to him. He won the German Open, beating Chu Tian Chen fourth seed in an hour and 17 minutes he won six matches there to do so won the all england open of course beat tian hao wei the eighth seed 21 9 and 21 10 in 45 minutes won five matches there second round of the indian open lost to san Won ho son Won ho i should say 47 minutes quarterfinals of the malaysian open to lost to jano jorgensen in 32 minutes but won two matches and semi-finals last week of the Singapore Open, lost to Sony Kunkoro of Indonesia, 22-20 in the third and deciding game. An hour and nine minutes it lasted, but he won three matches there, plus three here. So he's won 20 matches this year, Lindan. That's good play from the young 19-year-old, uh, though. Who's staying in touch here, just a point adrift. From the second seed. <laughs> well, a rare oh, unforced oh. error as they level up from the second seed. And I, for one, am extremely excited and privileged to say that our fifth and Last match of the day here on semi-finals day from Changzhou is Chen Long up against uh, Tanonsak from Thailand. That'll be following a men's doubles that's sort of sandwiched in between these two men's singles. But the prospect of watching Chen Long against Lin Dan, should they both win, of course, respectfully said to their uh, opponents, well, is an absolutely mouth-watering opportunity. For me and half of Changshu, you'd imagine. Not that we can fit 18 million people in here, but uh, and of course we all want to quantify and contextualise where a player is at with their results recently, their career highs, their head-to-head. -head. Well, there isn't a head-to-head -head showing here. They've not played, as indeed in so many matches. But Chen Long. <laughs> Lindana, I should say. Having his work cut out. 
And here's a young man who will know an awful lot about Lindan, but I wouldn't imagine he reciprocates. But so many good young Chinese up-and-comers. Chen Long, the, the best player of his generation, and he sort of glides. His guile and wizardry is sort of very, very special, and he's got so many ways to pick a lock. He's kind of Houdini-esque in the way that he escapes problems and challenges on the court. And there's almost a sort of pomp and ridicule at his level of mastery and easy, lackadaisical style. Levels of brilliance that we're witnessing that only adults can really appreciate with their experience just how difficult it is to play one of these shots, let alone repeatedly to live at that level and rarely miss. You're in the company of Paul Hand. Great to have you along if you are just joining us. Treated to both men's single semi finals today from Changzhou. Oh, the reverse slice finish. Majestic, easy looking. Look at this, the precision is just. Well, it's just spellbinding and mouth-watering. I'm almost salivating down the microphone here as we watch this. It's just <laughs> something to behold, this man. Something very, very special. as I would love to see Lin Guipu with a terrific performance. More inside me, as I'm sure you spectators are the same, wants to see the heavyweight treat, the Clash of the Titans, still on course for the final showdown. That would be billed as absolutely colossal, mouth-watering, in the Blue Ribbon Men's Singles event. Chen Long against Lin Dan. Spilling wide with the smash then, the youngster, Lin Dan, turns the screw. Saunters to the mid-game interval then to his towel, his bag, some rehydration. In control of this one so far. The youngster bringing as much as he can, the Asian junior champion. In July of 2015. I wonder how much sleep he got last night in anticipation of playing Lin Dan on a big stage like this. It's one thing winning the Chinese International Challenge event and making round of 16 Indonesian Masters and Macau Open. But it's another contesting against one of the most decorated players of all time. In front of TV as well, of course. Just having a quick word then with Benny Shu of Canada. Tell a light. Her Shu Yang from China in the chair.
So, huge opportunity for this young man. What would it mean to him to beat somebody like Lin Dan? I'll tell you what it would be like. It would be like all his Christmases coming at once. You'd probably take instant retirement and gloat on that result for the rest of his days. <laughs> no, I doubt it. Me being silly. Deceptive. Nothing's ever a problem. He never looks in trouble. He sees the shuttle far earlier than the majority of mere mortals. <laughs> and a nonchalant scratch of the ear in winning another point. Five points adrift then. Louis Lin Guipo. so enticing is his look of non-caring and I'm sure he's not and we know how hard he works and how respectful he is as the fact that he might be a twice a gold medalist at the Olympics but just delighted to qualify and uh, work hard and prove the his Chinese contingents of coaches that he still has what it takes at 32 years of age. Lin Dan. He's almost saying, isn't he, when he speaks, uh, when, when he's playing, he's, he's almost talking as if to say, right, so... How do you want to play this? What, what tactical nuance do you want to go with? And I'll, I'll take you on it however you like, but, uh, you know, there's, it's, just a, uh, it's just brilliant to watch, frankly. A wonderful return from Lin Gwipi. So deceptive. Good leave. Stop is over. And Guipu throwing the kitchen sink at Lin Dan there. To no avail in the end. He's contesting these points very, very well, having to cover a lot of ground because the accuracy of Lin Dan just something else. <laughs> 17 minutes played and a four point lead then for Lin Dan who's already generated a run of six consecutive points in this game. Over. 
spilt long and wide a few times, though, not entirely dialed in. Out by uh, the country mile, that one. get to 11-5, the run of six straight points for Lindan in the red shirt. And you feel him just ratcheting through another gear as he seemingly heads towards the finish line in this opening game of this first men's single semi-final. of slight frustration as he hits uh, another uncharacteristic error. What we all want to know is, is it enough to get past somebody like Chen Long, the undisputed world number one? He'll be up in a couple of matches time, don't worry about that. Mr. Physical, he's in great shape. That's his Lin Dan. But Chen Long, just such a physical specimen. I remember watching him at uh, the Astoria Stadium, World Champs, last year. And I was left just dribbling in awe of being close to the court and just in total awe of his physicality and his end range control. Quite something. So, for the young 19 year old, then still five points adrift, to be expected, playing the second seed here. And third best player in the world currently, Lindan, who's having a strong year 2016. And that's what's interesting as well about the possible final showdown with the top seed Chen Long is that Chen hasn't had terrific results by his lofty standards in 2016. So could prove an exciting matchup, one that all the fans here for sure, most of China will want to take a look at that match, you'd imagine. For seven game point opportunities for Lindan. Yeah. Oh, what a way to finish. The most delightful cross net shot. The utmost in deception. 21 minutes it took, 21 points to 13 in favour of Lindan. I think when you've played a lot of racket sports over the years, you kind of have an appreciation of the mastery that this man's been born with, a skill that obviously he's had to work very, very hard at, no doubt about it, but he's just got that sort of sixth sense that no matter what an opponent does, look at the mastery there, just <laughs> seemingly looking the other way. But uh, he makes the ridiculously difficult look extremely easy. And I think that's what's so engaging about him. And he has style as well as substance, doesn't he, Lin Dan? He swaggers around with ease and there's a grace to him that everybody wants to be like. He's the David Beckham of badminton, frankly. Has his own lingerie range, I was told earlier this morning. So he certainly can cut it. His young opponent, you'd imagine, well, he'll just be delighted to be out here. 
as we start the second game. Obviously trying his heart out, the young man in yellow. But he'll take so much away from this experience, irrespective of what happens. But the precision and accuracy with which this man hits, second to none. But is it second to Chen Long? Tomorrow might tell us just that if both men come through. The left is good. Umpire with the hand facing down, gesturing so. Lions judge, I should say. Created a steep angle with the jump smash, got up so high, seemingly smashing that one down from the roof. What an athlete he is, the 32-year-old. He's still got it. What I love about him, I think, as well, is that humble honesty. He's obviously not shunned the hard work. Good leave from the other Lin, if you will. One. Now, one thing's for sure, the man in the red shirt has to guard against complacency, needs to focus. Two, three. And this is exactly the kind of situation that happened to him yesterday. He sometimes can get a little too clever, a bit too greedy perhaps with that uh, tight net shot. Stop is over. <laughs> Four, two. Close for the backhand kill. He knew his opponent was in trouble. And uh, it just reads the situation so much quicker than most. Makes him a step ahead. And he has a lot of trust in his skills as well. Missed a couple of those, though, this game. Three, five. But still, he remains in the ascendancy here. Two points to the good and a game as well. And he never looks troubled, does he, Linda? And be under the utmost pressure. Head spinning at times like a washing machine, I'm sure. Like the rest of the uh, field at times. But he never shows it. And that the trait of a winner. Oh, beautiful. Is over. I don't... Six, three. Guepu wanting the court attendant on to wipe any sweat away. Thank you. Such a tough ass playing against this man. <laughs> yeah. The red shirted man with the last laugh. It all starting to look fairly academic for him. So quick to respond, he knew what was coming. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, naughty, naughty, audacious block to the space on the court from Lin Dan. The younger of the two Lins contested this point brilliantly, but didn't expect that back. Pressure starting to Nine, mount then on three. the young shoulders. Errors starting to come. Four points in a row from Linda. Could manage a fifth though. Four, nine. So he managed a run of three consecutive points in the opening game, this young player. And he's managed a, a couple of twos in this game, but Lindan with a six in the opening game and a four in this game. Far better at uh, runs of momentum. And again, Lindan builds. There's a academia, hey, an academic feel about this now. Very much in the ascendancy, Lindan. To be expected, and credit to this young player in yellow, having contested the match uh, very well so far. And again, lightning reflexes with the backhand block to extend his lead further. Seven points adrift now then, Guipo. As we head to the mid-game interval, after 29 minutes played then, 28 minutes played according to that graphic, it's all the uh, second seed, Lin, in control of this one. Such good spatial awareness, down but not out. He took a dive on that point, but then got back up and committed and went on to win the point. He's so tough to get a read on, though, isn't he? Look at that. You think he's in trouble deep in the backhand corner at the backcourt there, but uh, not so. Wriggles out of uh, jail with no problem at all. But one thing's for sure, he has a, a lot of time playing against his young opponent today in Lin Guipu. Not so, possibly, tomorrow, should he win today. That's one thing that Chen Long will take away, should he win. Dispatch, the consummate is lift far too short. And down. The, the inside out smash. And a collective sigh around the Marina here, as he shows us all that he is human after all. So the Olympic Sports Centre, Sinchen. Stadium holds 38,000 people, but this arena, just over 6,000 seats. Brilliant. 
from the other limb. Linguipu take a bow. That was a wonderful point, an explosive smash to finish it. That's what he's got to do. He's got to take time and space away from Lin Dan, who, when he has both those things, is just unstoppable. Rarely see that. Lin Dan floored. But he should take a lot of heart from his performance so far. But he's still six points adrift in this second game. Well, just as he thought he was getting onto his first ever run of three consecutive points against Lin Dan. Lin finds the back line. Well, that was out in the end. Lions judge has his arms out wide. Lin Dan doing well there to dig that one out over the net, but just wide. Nine, Brilliant tumbling net shot from Gwipu. Hands down from both lines, judges. Gesturing the shuttle was good. Gwipu finds another line, and he has to be that accurate. Against a man who makes the badminton court look very small at times. Well, coupled with a slight lapse in concentration and some very, very hotly contested points from Lin Guipu. And uh, he's clawing his way back into this second game, is the youngster. Builds wide as well. Five points in a row for this young player. Superseding the maximum run of consecutive points for Lin Dan of four. Quite something. He's in a rich vein of form right now. Can he sustain it? Then he'd done so well to claw his way back into this second game. Only to just miss out there. It engineered the point beautifully. With a tight net shot, got what he wanted, but it was very, very close to the tape. Took his eye off the shuttle. And that would have been six consecutive, but not so. And then down. Reasserting himself here. And he's just got that extra gear, hasn't he? We always know he has precision and consistency. But at will, he can just suddenly ramp it up, take the shuttle marginally earlier, get on the front foot more in the rally, play more in the front court. And suddenly, he pulls away again.
Well, fortune favours the brave. It was a brave backhand block. from Lindan thought it was spilling over the back line and then at the last minute his mind told him he ought to play it by that time Lingwipu had closed Dan just three points away from the W now. Definitely effective. 15, but you feel the inevitable just about to happen. Almost 40 minutes played then. Five consecutive match points for the second seed, Lindan. Yeah. Shuttle spills wide and he converts at the first time of asking. On the 40 minute mark. Comfortable passage then for Lindan. Applause for the victor and the vanquished, but it's the second seed. Lindan through with an emphatic display of mesmerizing badminton from the left-hander. He'll be delighted to come through in straight games, something that yesterday he did manage to do against the other 19-year-old, Guangzhou Lu, but today, Really strong, solid performance. Confirmation of the scoreline then. 21-13, 21-15, Lin down through to the final. So it's men's doubles up next then. The fourth semi-final on this fifth day of play here from Changzhou. Li Yongdei and Yu Yongqiong against Huang Kezian and Zheng Siwei in this Korean-Chinese encounter. 
Koreans on the right of your picture. Top seeds in this event, and indeed the undisputed world number ones. Such experience. Yet to yield again then.